six little boxes that have that are three inch by three inch and I know that our paper is nine inches this way and 12 inches that way so I could get six boxes in here um, for sure so I'm gonna measure one inch from I'm measuring one inch from the end to create a nice straight line All right, so now I have one inch border and I'm gonna divide this line into, into, three, into three, three inch spaces. So that's one and that's four. So that's three inches right there. I'll put a space between it and then I'll do another three inches, space between it, one, two, three, and then my three inch takes me all the way there. That might be a little complex. It doesn't have to be this complex. I'm just one of those people that likes to create. Um, <laughs> I like to create spaces that are nice and even. So once again, I'm gonna do one inch. It doesn't really matter where I put these dots at first, as long as I create a nice straight line. Hold my ruler down. Okay, what I'm gonna do from this, that's one inch right there. One, two, three. Space it out an inch. One, two, three. Space it out an inch. Okay, so from here, I'm going to create three inch boxes. So one, two, three. And one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Because I have these dots, I'm able to kind of create this line across and then I'll have one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So now I have these two boxes, correct? I'll do that again. I'm gonna put that, where that three inch mark is, or this three inch mark is. And then um, two of the three. One, two, three. And then close this little box. And then this measures all the way to the end. So I'll just close these off. Yeah, it's a little short, but that's okay. All right, so now I have my um, six boxes. This is a little short than a three inch, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about it. This is just an example sheet um, and I am going to create Zen Tangle patterns in each one of these, and each one will be a little different. So I can start off with my pencil. And when I start off with my pencil, I wanna first, you know, create a, um, a string, correct? And I'm going to create just a little string like that. And from there, I'm no longer using pencil. I'm going to use my gel pen to now create a few tangle patterns inside each one of these little spaces. So we are creating pattern um, and we are creating space in our patterns. And I've been doing a lot of zentangles lately. So I've researched quite a few different kinds of zentangles. Um, you can create as complex as you'd like. And of course, you know, we're doing this first so that we can see that students are kind of grasping this concept of Zentangle and how we use it in art. So the gel pen is a really nice pen that just has great inking quality to it. 
And that's why I, I made sure to like pick up a few of these for all of our students. Um, also, you can get a lot finer detail than you would be able to with a um, the markers, okay? Like the markers are just a little too thick for this unless you're covering large area. So I'm staying within this little bubble area that I created, right? And in this other area, I'll create a different pattern. So the idea is to create different kinds of patterns in each little part of the string that I've created. If you have other art materials that you want to use, like maybe you actually own a few nice felt tip pens, then you can use those as well. So for me, I do have a few felt tip pens from Copic. They're called multi-liners. Um, and I actually prefer to use those instead of using a gel pen when creating Zentangles. Um, but if you don't have felt tip, then you can just use your, your gel pen. Um, and I'll show you the difference on how that looks. So let's go with a 0.5. Maybe in, in this, I'll create a little, a new pattern. So this is kind of like a basket weave pattern that I'm doing right now. Notice I'm just going straight into this with pen. Um, in here I can create a, maybe a checkerboard pattern or, you know, I like doing fish skills too. And remember there is no right or wrong um, other than like craftsmanship, right? And craftsmanship is what we do when we're trying to keep things nice and neat. That was like a little bit of a mistake right there. That's okay. I'll go back and fix it. <clears throat> Remember, there's no eraser. In life, there's no eraser. Sometimes you just got to work with what you got. I'm just turning my paper with that. And then for this final piece over here, I can um, also create something different. I can also come in here and, um, you know, create even more intricate pattern. And eventually I will create, you know, something more complex than this. And I want to show you all an example that I have completed from a different class period for a different kind of assignment. And this is a whole Zentangle piece that I have created um, that shows different patterns. And I did use my uh, multi-liner Copic marker for these. Um, and I used like the 0.8 and the 0.5. But like I mentioned, you could just use your, your gel pen. Okay, and with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording and um, take questions from the class.